Hello and welcome to another Design R1 training video. In today's video we're going to show you how to have ACT work with the newest version of Microsoft Office. If you have ACT 2010 or older there is no native support so we've designed an add-on product that will fix this particular issue. So you can see on the computer I have open right now if I go to my help menu and choose about ACT you'll notice I have ACT 2009, I have Service Pack 1, Hotfix 1 this does not work with Microsoft Office. You'll see that when I go to my Tools menu, choose Preferences, choose Communication. If I'd like to change my word processor to Microsoft Word, I can't do so. You'll also notice if I come over here to my Contact List, the icon to export to Excel is grayed out. So what I'd like to show you here is I have Microsoft Word open. If I go to my File menu and choose Help, you will see here that I have Office from Microsoft version 2010 14.0. These don't work together. So what I've done is I've downloaded an add-on product. So if I open up my web browser here, I happen to use Firefox. I've already downloaded. So if I go to my tools menu and choose downloads, I can then double click on the Act Word 2010 setup. I'm going to go ahead and click next a couple times. No need for configuration during the actual install itself. We're copying files, modifying registry keys, and things of that nature right now. Install goes pretty quick, so probably less than 15 to 20 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and close, and let's open ACT back up. When I open ACT, the first thing you're going to notice is a registration screen. We need to go ahead and register so we can use the product. You either plug in the serial number, or if you've purchased one of our consulting packs, or are a strategic partner, or have a site license, you actually have a password that you can plug in and with a username you can register as many times as you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. And after you click on register, whether you're using a site license or whatnot, it may take five to ten seconds to register. Click on close, click on close again after we say thank you. Now this is where the magic happens. Once ACT is open, you'll notice I can go to my contact list. You'll see that my export to Excel is now working. I'm going to go ahead and do that and Excel is going to pop up in the background here. Here's my contact list just exported. If I move back to my ACT application, I now go to my tools menu, choose preferences, over to communication, Microsoft Word is now enabled again. You will notice it says 2007 right here, but that's okay. We're still able to work with ACT 2010. Um, you'll also notice that email, if I want to integrate with Microsoft Outlook, I can also choose Microsoft Outlook during my email system setup wizard. Thank you for watching another video. We, we always welcome feedback. Please feel free to send us an email or give us a phone call. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much.